So I just read the last part of the Silmarillion, so mainly part four and five, named Akarabeth and of the Rings and Power of Power and the Third Age mainly. Uh, so these parts were not long actually, the longest part being, you know, Quenta Silmarillion, so part three. Uh, I wanted to merge these two last parts together mainly because there's not much to say about the fifth part actually. Uh, so on with uh, kind of the review on, about these parts actually. So in Akarabeth, uh, mainly, you know, uh, Morgoth has been defeated, so now Sauron is uh, taking the throne of Morgoth, essentially, and he's calling himself the king of the world, uh, so he's mainly, you know, king of evil and everything. Uh, we see the fall of Numenor, so uh, the destruction of the city and also kind of the sinking of the island, which I really enjoyed. Uh, we see where the Dunedin, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, comes from essentially Aragorn in the Lord of the Rings, you know, where these people are coming from. So they're mainly, you know, the Numenorians, essentially. And there are some hints as to the forging of the rings in here, uh, but you know, it's continuing in the fifth part. Yeah, and that's why I wanna merge these two things together because there are some hints here and there, you know, on this in Akarabeth about what's gonna happen afterwards. So in the Lord of the Rings and everything else after actually. Uh, there's a war with Sauron and the Valar comes to Middle-earth or it could be that it was Eru Eluvatar. I'm not sure, you know, that part I'm not really sure about, but it's one or, or the other. And once again, you know, you have this big transformation of um, the world. So that's why, you know, Numenor is sinking because, you know, great powers are at work here. Uh, and there's floods, there are earthquakes, earthquake sorry and things like that that was uh, Akarabeth mainly then we move into part five so Sauron has already been defeated uh, but now he's kind of back he's just kind of a shadow uh, he's going to trick the elves into creating rings that's not really clear how he does that but he has kind of another form and he's He's kind of seductive with the elves or something like this. Um, but yeah, it's essentially, you know, how the rings were uh, created. And we learned, that's something that I forgot to say in Akarabeth, but the, we learn where the Nazgul are coming from. So the nine, um, there were Dunedin, uh, Dunedin, Dunedin before. <laughs> Sorry about mispronouncing stuff. Um, so the creation of the rings, it's a bit more complex than what we see in the movie uh, explained here in the book. I don't want to get too deep into it because, yeah, it's just, it was great actually. And there's a lot of fighting actually. There's a lot of wars. And, you know, from watching the movies, I always thought that there was this one huge war between, you know, human elves dwarves the alliance against sauron uh, but that's kind of not the case there was a lot of fighting and seven years of siege around Mordor uh, before you know isildur was able to kill quote unquote kill sauron and take the ring for himself actually so i really enjoyed that and we see really like the fall of isildur also and also in the book, we truly see how the ring betrayed Isildur, you know, sinking into the bottom of the river and everything. We really see like the fighting between the orcs and the company of Isildur, which is something that I really enjoyed. Um, so I'll do a full on review of the Silmarion, you know, a bit 
later this week actually what I want to do is finish talking about Silmarion and Rings of Power this week. Uh, so tomorrow I'll be posting a video about Rings of Power episode 7 and 8. I'm midway through the 8th episode right now. Um, so can't wait to talk about that actually. And so the day after I post the video about Rings of Power episode 7 and 8, I'll be talking about Silmarion. And then the day after Silmarion, I'll be posting a video about Rings of Power, the show in its entirety, actually. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.